Do you know what? My daughter's five and she's in primary school and she's often incredibly given homework. What? Yeah. At five? Yeah, she was given the class cuddly toy. Oh, well, that's quite nice. Well, it's a little crab called uh, Mr. Hermit. <laughs> Because it's nothing cuddlier than a crab. Yeah, it? we'll take Mr. Hermit on adventures. Uh, my daughter has uh, ballet lessons, so the, the whole plan was Mr. Hermit was going to accompany us to the ballet lesson. Which he'd be very good at with his uh, eight legs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I forgot. Ah, uh, you I, forgot Mr. Hermit. Yeah, and I remembered it at about 6pm on Sunday. Now, when you have children who are five and one, 6pm on Sunday night, they've just got to have their tea, bath and bed. You haven't really got very much time to go on. Well, you could cut a bit of time if you give them their tea in the bath and just let them fall asleep in the warm water. <laughs> anyway, I had a look at the scrapbook and... Other parents had taken Mr. Hermit the crab to the zoo, he'd gone to the wood, he'd gone to the beach, he'd done all sorts. Uh, I had to think quickly, I only had a couple of minutes to play with. Guess what adventure Mr. Hermit went on? Did he go to the living room, the kitchen and the bedroom? No, no better than that. Oh, he went to the blimmin' local cash machine. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> hey, so you had to take your five-year-old and your one-year-old to the cash point? Yeah, I took out tender. <laughs> So he had a little, he had a little tenor between his pincers. You know, he's probably got like a secret video camera and audio recorder inside his claw. Oh God! And it's actually social services finding out whether you're a good parent or not. Dragging two kids to a cash machine on Sunday night. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dad. Do you not think the cash machine made it look like you're just showing off that you got loads of money? Well, that's why I only took out a tenner. Oh, you bigger. should have taken out like three hundred. No, <laughs> and then <laughs> taken him down to the pawn shop. <laughs> As if he's trying to buy back his wife's engagement ring. You could have created a real narrative about Mr. Hermit's yes, fall from grace. Yes, yeah. Oh, well. You should have gone to um, Burger and Lobster and had him uh, outside the tank <laughs> fl flicking the V's at his old friends. You're listening to Ellis James and John Robbins on BBC Radio 5 Live.